PCS Ferguson, the leader in artificial lift technology, presents Plunger Lift. Plunger Lift is an effective and economical form of lift in wells with specific characteristics, namely low bottom hole pressure, high gas and low liquids, production of roughly 200 barrels per day or less, and gas flow nearing or below critical flow rate. By definition, critical flow rate is the minimum gas flow rate that is needed to ensure the continuous removal of liquids from the well bore. When a well falls below the critical flow rate, the well will begin to load up and will not be able to lift and remove liquids on its own. If left untreated, the accumulated liquids will eventually impose enough back pressure on the formation that the well's production will be severely affected or may stop entirely. Installation of a plunger lift system, ideally before liquid loading occurs, enables consistent liquid removal and stabilized production. By intervening with plunger lift, the operator can ward off the inevitable production losses that occur when the well becomes completely loaded. The surface equipment of a plunger lift system consists of a lubricator, an arrival sensor, and an electronic controller. Installed on the wellhead, the lubricator allows the plunger to be safely installed for use and removed for inspection or replacement. It also catches and cushions the plunger upon arrival at the surface. An arrival sensor is mounted on the lubricator to detect the plunger's arrival at the surface and trigger the electronic controller. The controller allows the system to run with minimal intervention. Using sophisticated algorithms and user-defined settings, it operates the motor valve, opening it for gas sales or closing it to shut in the well. The plunger is the workhorse of the system. It acts as a mechanical interface between the gas and liquids and is available in several types and sizes to ensure efficient liquid removal in a variety of well conditions. Installed at the bottom of the well, the bumper spring absorbs the impact of the falling plunger and protects the downhole equipment. Together, these parts create the plunger lift system, one of the most economical methods to achieve maximum well deliquefaction. The plunger is installed at the lubricator. The well is shut in, and the plunger drops to the bottom, traveling through the fluid at average speeds of 200 feet per minute, where it lands at the bumper spring. Once the well has built enough pressure in the casing, the controller opens the motor valve. The accumulated pressure pushes the plunger and the fluids to the surface, allowing gas to flow behind it. The sensor detects the plunger's arrival, the catcher holds it in place in the lubricator, and gas flows to the sales line. The motor valve remains open based on user settings. When the cycle is complete, the controller turns off the motor valve to shut in the well, allowing the casing pressure to build again for the next cycle. A typical plunger lift well can accommodate several plunger cycles per day. All wells experience a natural decline in production over time, and liquid loading can accelerate that decline. By installing plunger lift before loading occurs, you can maintain or even increase production. And because it uses only the well's own energy, plunger lift is extremely cost-effective when compared to other forms of artificial lift. If you are looking to optimize production in a well with high liquid to gas ratios, plunger lift may be an excellent choice. To learn about our plunger lift systems or our complete lineup of well optimization products and services, please contact your local PCS Ferguson representative or visit us at www.pcsferguson.com.